Greetings. This short tutorial is for adding Cobra the Arcade World version or CBR2 version B to TechnoParrot. As a requirement, you need the Cobra the Arcade or CBR1 version installed on your current TechnoParrot setup. If you have not installed it yet, we recommend watching our previous tutorial for Cobra the Arcade. Links for tutorial will be in the description. Next, you need the necessary files in addition to the current files to make this work. Both versions must be present in the game folders to avoid errors. And please don't ask me where to get the game files. Just be creative on your search on the internet. It's quite easy to find. Okay, let's get started. We need to add first Cobra the Arcade World, or version CBR2, on the TechnoParrot game list. Let's boot TechnoParrot. At the main list, scroll down for Cobra the Arcade World. You can press letter C on the keyboard to immediately jump to the first title, that start with the letter C. If you did not see the game, you may want to update first. To do that, click on the three dash line on the upper left most corner. Click check for updates or install updates if it is available. After you're done updating, click again the three dash line and click add game. Scroll down for Cobra Arcade World, then click add game. Now the game is available for configurations. Click on game settings. Now, you must pick the same Cobra the Arcade zip file from before. If you have the Cobra.zip already, do not choose that and use the same one. Yes, the two version will use the same zip file and CHD file to start both game versions, which is Cabrita.zip. Cobra the Arcade World version will be automatically called upon boot. Then redirect the game executable by clicking just above the gray line. A pop-up window will show up immediately. Check the bottom right corner for the exact file name that you will be looking for. In this case, it's Cabrita.zip. Then go to your game directory, then choose the file needed. You won't get wrong on this part. Techno Parrot won't allow you to choose the wrong file unless you force it. Next, configure general. Input API whether X input, direct input, or raw input, depending on what you're using. In this demonstration, it's best to use a mouse and keyboard option, so we choose raw input. On general display mode, it's up to you, but we recommend full screen. Now, in the general graphics backend, depending on your machine, you can experiment on this. Try both to find which is better. In this demo, we will set this up on Vulkan at 480p resolution. Feel free to experiment on this if it doesn't show good results. Then hit save if you're fine with the settings. You can go back and adjust later. Then let's configure the control button assignment. So... Depending on what you use, you can freely manage the button's assignments to your perspective. On the player 1 light gun, choose Windows mouse cursor. Don't forget to save before exiting. Let's close the Techno Parrot emulator for now and head to our Cobra, the Arcade World version file. But first, let's double check exactly what file is needed. For now, let's go to the Play emulator within the root of your Techno Parrot emulator folder. Let's open the Play Emulator, then scroll down to find Cobra, the Arcade World version. On the bottom left, you will find the exact file name of the zip we need. In this case, it will be Cobrataw.zip. Then go to the Arcade DFS folder and find the Cobrataw Arcade Def file. Right-click and open it with Notepad or similar text editor app. Take note of the name of the bin file for now. Extract the NM000211CBR2 for BA026081331195 at bin.gz. After extraction, right click on the bin file, then compress it as zip file. Then rename the zip file containing the bin file as cobertaw.zip. Then move or copy this new zip file to your game directory from where the first version was placed. The Cabrita.zip and Cabrita.zip must be on the same folder to work properly, together with its CHD file. In clarification, the Cabrita.zip will be sharing the CHD file with Cabrita.zip, so do not worry. That's it. Now we can test the game. Let's boot TechnoParrot. Let's run Cobra, the arcade world version. Upon boot, you will be prompted with a card link error. Just push enter to skip as instructed. Now, if it turns into a black screen after the now loading screen for too long, just shift to windowed mode and full screen mode by hitting Alt plus enter on your keyboard. 
then screen will show up. After that, you will reach the title screen or beyond if you're lucky. The arcade. In few moments after that, another error prompt will appear. An E51 card error will stop you, but do not worry. Just hit the test button so you can disable the card dispenser settings. Once you're in the test menu, go to game option and disable card R slash W by hitting enter and move left or right to change value to off. Then exit the test menu and hit test menu again to completely exit the test menu. After reboot, you can now play the game without the card error. That's it. If you made it here this part of the video, thank you for watching. And if this video is helpful, might as well like it. And if you want to help us grow our channel, join us on Patreon. Very appreciated. Have a great day. So, that's the casino.